Hello, hello everyone. <clears throat> How are you doing today, guys? Uh, hello, and all films. Yes, I have a Steam. The link of my Steam account, if you wanna friend me, is in my in the description. Look, I'm gonna show you in my YouTube channel. Give me a second. It's the link. So if you wanna friend me or something, I'm gonna show you. Can you see here where the this Twitter? Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, or you can go to About. Let me put this a little bit low, down. You can go to About, and here, can you see Twitter, Facebook, support the channel, Steam. So you click here, and it redirects you to my uh, Steam account. So you can uh, send me, if you want, you can send me No, it's a long time ago I didn't play Gary's Gary's mod. I don't know if I have it though, I don't remember. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much everyone for coming to the stream. Today we are gonna be doing some game development uh, with Unreal Engine. So what I thought is that I'm gonna continue working in the map and in the lower section, do you remember in the lower section of the map that we are creating I was thinking to make some maze or something so I haven't been, have been checking for mazes and I found this one I think this one is gonna work pretty good it's gonna work pretty good for the purpose that we need because it's simple it's a simple maze have but it's a uh, complex if the player turn in a wrong direction so we're gonna do this and the path as you can see the arrows this is the direction and here in this bottom in this bottom place we're gonna put some reward or something because we need to reward the the player in case that he get lost and he go walk this much so we need to give him some reward so let's go ahead now can I put this in my second screen so I can have the reference and let's open Unreal Engine. Let's go to the map that we were creating, which is my map 01. I don't know, <laughs> maybe they just like to watch. <laughs> Hello, Nadia. Everything better. Okay, so this is the map that we did last time, and we start here and we go here, turn off the fire, grab the stuff from here, go back, that uh, remove the water from the well. Once the water is removed, you can go down, and in this lower section is where we're gonna make this maze. And we're gonna make this uh, pretty dark because we're 
we're gonna have to. Uh, I wanna push the player to use the torch. I want the player to use the torch. <coughs> Hey, what's up? Zrim? Yeah. I'm doing great and really good, Nadia. Thank you. <laughs> okay, for the ones that don't saw the what we did last time, I'm gonna play the game. So you can see what where is the progress. So we start here, and this is gonna be like kind of jail and the player will try to open the door but it can't it cannot open the door and you will see here well we will put this note as I said before in the no oh, shoot <laughs> let's put the let's read the note we will put that note in the top of the uh, table so the player can see it and the note will say, I stay here for weeks and the, and at the end of my days I discover that the light without flame opens the gate of freedom. So this is like a clue for the player that the light without flame, which is this one. And you see this one is on, this one is on like the, with fire. So the player will need to come here and push that. And that thing unlocked the door. So you come here, open the door, and if you want to continue here, as I said before, this bulb, this bulb is going to be hidden in some of those uh, other cells. Then you will need to find the, the bulb, then come here, put it, because if you continue here, it's it hurts and you can die if you continue if you try to pass that through with the fire on it's gonna kill you so you just put, uh, do this and extinguish the fire i'm thinking that maybe i'm gonna put like some water falling or something but right now i'm just gonna leave it like this <clears throat> and then uh here there is the water We'll need to put some noise or something there. And here I will mean like a kind of laboratory or something. And here you have the player have the torch. Not also I will put it in the in the top of a table so the player can see it easily. And then this remove the water we i will put we will put some sound or something and the of water draining and that what it does is remove the water from here and we can go down and this is the section that we will be working today the bottom one which is gonna be as i said before this this maze. Hey, Silent Scooper. Thank you so much for smashing that like button. I can see that you uh, changed your profile picture. Thank you so much. <laughs> can I be moderator for in the stream? I don't know, it's not ma that many people that I think that needs to be a moderator. If I see that there is some problem or something, I will let you know in all films. But thank you so much eh, for offering your help. And now let I want to try one track. That yesterday I watched a video, let me show you. I watched a video mm. Let me see where it is This one I watched a video of uh, Melee Playful 
and she put this song that I really like it. I don't know if you can hear it well, but I'm gonna play it right now. And the gameplay of this is really cool. The gameplay of this is really cool. She has really good stuff in her channel also. And I download that and it's here. Hey, hello. Hello. What the hell? What is this? I just want to play it on the regular. Yes. Let me play a bit higher so you can hear it. In my opinion, this is a really cool track. A really cool track. Hello, Samir. How are you doing? Thank you so much for coming to the stream, man. Okay. So, let's see how we start the map here. I'm thinking to go in that direction. What a track, eh? I love it. I love this this music, I love it. Okay. So let's see if they have some walls small. Hello everyone! Hello Gamer Victorious! Hello Gaming uh, with Nico! Gaming with Nico! Oh, thank you so much! Thank you so much Gaming with Nico for subscribing! I really appreciate your support! Don't forget to hit that uh, like button if you like the stream! As I said before, I'm gonna put this a little bit lower just in the background so as I said before we're working today in the map and we're gonna do this maze this maze so let's go to the meshes and let's see if they have let's see here in the creep I'm looking for a narrow wall No narrow floor. Well, first, first of all, let's uh, let's do the shape of the of the maze. Okay. Yes, perfect. That's gonna be right in the place where I want it to be. Okay. And from here, this one is gonna go in this direction. I'm gonna put the grid. Because if not, it's gonna be really hard to see. Wait, I'm gonna delete this one. This one needs to be a little bit higher. Mm, or maybe not. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this one. And now this song is finished, so I'm gonna play my playlist on Monster Cat. Okay, thank you so much for coming gaming with Nico. I really appreciate your support. Okay. So this, we're gonna rotate this. Oh, let me see. No, it's okay. Just leave it like this. And this is gonna be here. 
Look, can you see the squares in this map? We're gonna do exactly the same. It's gonna be a long way to walk, but I think it's gonna be okay. We can try if we need it smaller. So we need one, two, three. One, two, three, four, okay. This is the song, the song that is uh, playing right now. It's the one that I, I used yesterday to make that introduction for Horror Engine. Okay, so it's three, and then it's one in this direction. And then four in that direction. So we're gonna grab this one. I copy like that, and it's gonna be faster. Okay. So one, two, three, four. So it's gonna be one in this direction and one in this direction. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys that I found this map on the internet. The name of the map is, or uh, of the maze is Road Trip Fuji City uh, Treasure Maze Map. But it's copyright, so if you wanna use it for a game that you are uh, planning to sell, you're gonna have to pay for this. But this, if it's for learning purposes, it's okay. For that, I use it. You just type uh, road, uh, road trip Fuji City Treasure Maze map, and it is gonna pop out in in Google. Hello, uh, Rakshit uh, Shifi, uh, Shinkpi. How are you doing? Thank you so much for coming to the stream. A bunch of smiley faces. Samir <laughs> Okay Let's continue this Don't forget guys that tonight Later I'll be streaming uh, uh, or Home Sweet Home Part 2 Okay, so this one is two of down Okay So this is gonna be really really fun I hope to finish this, the maze. Okay, two down, then one, two, three, four, okay. Four in this direction. Can I grab this one? And copy them. And we have four. And in this section. Okay. So we need to copy also those ones in this direction to have a base because there are some walls here that we're gonna be putting later four and this one goes okay and then one no yeah one two three four then two of them this one and this one can i come here So we have two, then one down. We're gonna copy this one and this one. Move it here. Okay. And now we have one, two. Well, wait, wait, wait. I think all this section. I'm gonna copy all this section, but it's because it goes all the way up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. So two. Four. And six. Okay. And this section I'm gonna copy those ones here and go to the to the end. Okay. One, two, three, 
in this one. So if we don't have, we need to remove something that we can remove later. Okay, we can continue here. Because here, the map six and then one, two, three, four. Okay. So three of these ones goes well. Let's first uh one, two, three, four, okay. Two, three. Hey, hello, Robert. No, you're not late. I just started like, not too long ago. Thank you so much for coming to the stream. Thank you so much. I know that you're. I know that you are waiting for this. <laughs> and I'm. I'm also excited. Look, Robert. Uh, how you are one of the main uh, reasons why I'm doing this. And I know that you really are looking for this. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing today. Look, do you remember that? Uh, let me show you first. We did this part at the beginning that this is gonna be like kind of puzzle thingy. And when you go down from the well, we plan to make a maze. So I have been looking for mazes that can work for us and I found this one that I think is pretty simple the player is not gonna get too lost and, and it's easy to make so I think it's gonna work pretty well for us so the name of the the name of the map is Road Trip Fuji City Treasure Maze Map you just type that on Google and it's gonna pop up if you want to use this uh, maze to continue. And I'm right now I'm working in that. I'm first putting the bottom part, the floor, and then later I'm gonna make all the walls. So that's what I'm doing. What I'm doing right now for that, I just start. I just I start putting the the stuff like the uh, the floor, and I'm calculating what I'm doing. Is ocean. When I'm doing every of those squares, I'm calculating like is one of those meshes, so I have exactly the same size. So let's see. I think it's gonna be a little bit wide, but it's okay. I was just for practice. Let me put it in my second screen. Okay. So now. This part that I'm doing is this section, this row. And now we need to go one, two, three more up. But I'm gonna grab this one. If anyone say, hello, Phoenix uh, in, inbound, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for coming. So now we're gonna grab these ones that are already. And it's gonna be three of them. Two. Ah, uh, we should. I got to push out. <laughs> if anyone have any question of what I'm doing or how I'm doing the things, just leave it, uh, comment in the chat and I will let you know. I'm doing the things okay I will explain that I don't know if you saw yesterday the introduction of the course that I'm I'm planning to do well I'm doing already I have already done the introduction part one and part two but I'm planning to do like uh, post that every Friday every Friday is gonna be game development Friday Okay, so we have all of these rows. Now we have all these rows. And now we need to check how many. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 
12. So we have all of them, okay. 12. How many we have so far? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, hello, uh, Keegan Clark. How are you doing? Thank you uh, for the support. I know I have two times the amount I had last time. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you so much to you for coming to the stream. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So with this we're gonna have twelve. And I forgot how many we need to put. Let me see again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So we have exactly the perfect size. And I'm gonna copy all these down. If the music is too loud or the microphone is too loud or too low, let me know, okay, guys? I need I need music. I need this kind of music when I'm doing game development. I really like. It. I really like it. Okay. So can I grab this one? This one, this one, this one and this one. And this one. Okay. And I think that's gonna be all. Now we need to put the walls. So we're gonna grab these walls from here. This one. Put it down. And... Why it doesn't match? What happened here? Then I'm gonna do. Mm. Okay, let me remove the grid. Too fast, too fast. I think. Let me see. That needs to be to be going here. Okay, perfect. And now again, let's go for the grid. Let me see, this doesn't disturb. If I put this inside, of course. Which, a little bit, no? Yeah, okay. So I need to put it down. Huh? To put it down like this. So I'm gonna put this one here. And I'm gonna put the plier down there, so test the map right here and let's try the how it works how it looks like okay I think it's, that's gonna be fine that's gonna be fine 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 but let me see if they have some cool meshes here the arcs and you know those walls. Um, so we can put some of these in the sides. Yes, we're gonna use that as a guidance later. I prefer relaxing music. Uh, Thank you so much for coming and like for coming uh, Keegan Clark and Robert 20 is saying I prefer relaxing music when game dev and he also say I see I see you like epic type music <laughs> epic <laughs> yes I grew up with uh, dance music No worries, no problem, Keegan Clark. It's a pleasure to support a good uh, 
and other content creators. Okay. So let's continue. This one, I'm gonna do both sides. Yeah, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do both sides. And I'm gonna do just the beginning and let's see if it's too wide or what. When you wanna remove everything from the screen because you are creating the map, F11, so you can see everything. So I think, which? Oh. Let me see here. Okay. So this one is gonna go here. This one, I'm gonna grab that one and rotate it. Shit. 90 degrees. Back here. Put it back here. Okay. I don't think so, but Keegan Clark, I don't think so, I'm famous. Huh? <laughs> I don't think so, I'm famous, but thank you so much for the compliment, I really appreciate it, man. Okay, here I'm gonna put like this. Later we're gonna put some stuff in the corners. So that goes here. See it matches with the mesh in the bottom. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So this one here. These two here. If it got deleted and you see that it shouldn't, what happened here? Can you see? Let me see if it shows again. Can you see that? What the hell? Let me try. Hmm. Okay, in game doesn't show. Okay. In game don't show. So this wall and this wall here. Go right here. And this one I'm gonna copy. Maybe one copy here. Yes. And here, when it opens, it goes one to the left and one to the right, like this. And this one, here. You see that I put the mesh in the right place, yes. And this one here. And then, it goes hello oh, hello liberty gamer 02, oh, 08 game night uh, 423 hello welcome to the stream uh, hello ninja Renock in firework factory loves uh, Jackie <laughs> So this is a game development. We're making a video game all together. And I have to say that, well, I have to remember you guys that all that uh, all the things that we are using to do this is free. So you can do it yourself. For that I'm teaching those things. You can do it yourself. 
Wait, 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 wait. This, this is. Oh, this is the one that this is. One, two, three. Oh, it's open the last one. Okay, okay. So yes, this is. Uh, I'm doing really good, Oliver. How are you doing, my friend? I hope that you're enjoying your Saturday, man. Or doing something that you like, at least. Well, I think that if you're doing something that you like, it's because you're enjoying your Saturday. <laughs> but I really appreciate every one of you that come here. And I put this one because that one is exactly in the same position. Oh, you're going to party? Yes, yeah, Saturdays are good. Uh, game night for uh, 423. What's the game I'm playing? No, I'm not playing any game. I'm making. I'm making the game. Right now, I'm making the game using Unreal Engine. I'm gonna show you. Look, can you see? I'm making the game. Okay, let's see. Turn on this one and this one. Oh, shoot, this one is there. Okay, perfect. We need to make sure that the meshes are not one in the top of each other right like now. This one, okay, perfect. Yes, Keegan Clark, and I'm making a, a series of video tutorials on how you can make your own video game and everything I, as I said before, I know that I repeat myself, but it's for free and really easy to use. Look, it's like for me, using those assets, it's like uh, ma uh, making a video game is going to be almost like build a Lego. Maybe, yeah, we can work on Yes, Robert is saying that maybe when you start in the game, you can add a waking up camera animation. Yes, we will later on on the development because those are the final touches. But yes, I think it's a good idea, Robert, and that's a really good idea. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. After you found yourself inside of the jail, all this and yes. Do you, uh, game night uh, 423. Do you like Assassin's Creed Odyssey? You know, I did Odyssey. Odyssey is the last one, right? I didn't play that one, I didn't have it. I don't have that. I have uh, Assassin's Creed, the previous one, the one that was in Egypt. I don't remember the name now. Oh my gosh, <laughs> but yes, I play that a lot. Hello, uh, Justo, uh, Justo Akitek Kudos, 2119, hello. Oh, you're making a new video about that? Good. Yes, it's uh, <laughs> Assassin's Creed Origins. Okay, so let's continue with this. I'm gonna put this one and this one here. And this one. I'm gonna make a copy. And put it here. And you also would chat it. What is that, butcher? Oh, butcher! Then, <laughs> okay, okay. I now understand. I understand, Robert and Game Night four hundred twenty-three. So you uh, mis mis uh, misspelled the the name. It's okay. I got it. 
I think it was pretty good. When I saw that Assassin's Creed with in Egypt, that you can explore the pyramids and you can go around, I mean, that's really cool. And the developer, well, yes, the developer who made one of the developers, his name is uh, Asrim. Let me see, let me see here, my. File. Can I show you the guy who make Assassin's Creed? Look at this guy. This guy is the one uh, creative director of in Assassin's Creed Origins. This guy is a machine in video game development. This guy is awesome. He's, he's a huge like you don't know. He's, he's really really good, really good. He's really talented. Okay, let's copy this one here. And now let's go and do... So you go here. And then three of these. These three. Make a copy here. one make a copy goes here if you like video game development guys follow uh, video game like developers and these good ones that they are they give some lessons Uh, on Twitter or in podcast. Uh, okay, Keegan Clark, I'll come back to this stream with half to upload a video. Oh, good luck, man, with that. Good luck with that. Okay, so here this one goes like this. And then three. One, two, oh shit. One, two, three. And go like this. Okay, perfect. This is taking the shape, huh? and then now here there are two of those. I have this one and this one. Let's put it here. As you can see, it's really simple to create the map. You just need the the basics, but it's really simple. And then here it goes another one like this. But I'm not gonna take that one because I want that it goes exactly like this one, so I'm gonna take this one. Hey, Roach Melo. Hello. Okay. Let me see. Let's put like this. So you come from here, this part is this, and then this part is this, then you go here and it's this part, and now we're gonna continue with this. So, we're gonna grab one. I 
think this is correct, right? Right there, okay. And copy this one. How many are there? One? Well, yes, it's until. Okay, right? Yes. We can burn like a flame through the atmosphere. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Keegan Clerk. But remember, the songs that I'm using are from Monster Cat, so if you don't have the license with them, it's gonna hit you the copyright, huh? remember that. I have a license with Monster Cat, but if you don't have a, a license and you post that video, with the background music it's gonna hit you the copyright. Okay, and this one. Oh, thank you so much. Hello, uh, that one YouTuber. Hello, how are you doing? Thank you so much for coming to the stream. And thank you so much for congratulating me for the 1400 subscribers. Yes, it's a huge milestone, man. Eh? It's a long journey, even though it doesn't look like, but it is. Okay, this goes like this. And then these three. And those here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so this one is two of them, and then here goes a wall. Okay. Let me see here, yes, this one. One here. It's to separate. Here. Here. And there are one, two, three. Okay, perfect. Three. Well, this needs to go so here. Okay. Thank you, Robert. Thank you so much. This goes like this, and then here, this one, let me see, goes like this. I would like that you can see also the maze map, but I can't. I have to put it in the other screen. Here there, one, two, three, so this is... But this, oh, I should have, wait a second, copy this one, here, okay, 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 and now, oh no, Copy these ones and put right here. Thank you so much, Robert. Yes, it's a huge milestone. It's not easy, it's not easy to uh, gain subscribers in YouTube, but. You know, I'm, main, I'm mainly doing this because I'm enjoying it and I really like it. And looks like people is liking also what I'm doing, so I'm really happy about that. I know that, for example, this uh, video game development is not for everyone. It's not like gaming, but I like it, so I show it. And I know some of the people like Robert, that they also like it. I, I cannot see Eduardo here. 
but usually he he is also into game development. Okay, so this goes like this. Then it's gonna be one, two, three, four. Okay. So this goes like this. One more copy of these two, and that's it. Okay. And now these three. So these three are already made. Okay. So this one and this one goes here. One goes here, two, and then this one and this one. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Just this one and this one. Okay, here. Yes, yeah, it's all about fun. Now, if you don't take it like that, there are people that get really frustrated. Because they are expecting way too much, you know, from the subscribers or from YouTube, you know. And you cannot take it like that. No. If you take it like that, you lose your mind. Okay. So that's that. And then this one. Here. So one here, let me see if it's in the correct position, no, it's to be more here, okay, and for that I like to put them all, always all parallel, if I, if I have one here at the beginning I'd rather copy this one to this side than not creating because if not it's that gonna look nice at the end. Okay, two of them here. And then this one and this one. Here. And this one and this one here. And then here. This one. These two walls. I should look what I was telling. I'd rather copy this one twice, so I know that they are perfectly in the same position. Because later, not if not in in game, maybe you cannot see it now because you are making a lot of stuff. But later in game, maybe you don't see it, but someone who is playing the game, he can see it. You can see it. Okay. And this is looking great, huh? This is looking great. Look at this. Shit. <laughs> Go here. Looking great, man. Okay. Now copy this thing put it here okay. oh shoot look at that look at that uh, that mesh shit look at that what I was saying now, okay, we need to fix that. This one was... Yeah, look at that. But this one I'm gonna put it in that direction. I don't wanna move forward. Okay. Mm. So those are... Two, this one goes here. This one go 
goes here and this one goes here and this one here let me see This one. Let me see. It's in there. No. Let me see this mesh. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> So, Samir, how is everything uh, going in Pakistan? I hear that there were like a lot of rain. It's raining a lot of there. And they, some people are having, are having some problems. Even for the rain, looks like some people even were... Some of the houses get destroyed. Okay, so this is two. And then two. I know you will say why you copy and then delete. So I have I can calculate properly the the measurement. Okay, and this one this one here okay. and this one no this one here and then this goes three to the left let me see that there's not one inside of it okay perfect and then copy this what? oh yes, yes wait what? <laughs> oh just three, okay so I need to delete this one is one, two, three. Now I'm doing this section. It's one, two, three, and then that corner. And here I'm gonna grab this one. Perfect. Have some down there? No. Okay. So I'm just gonna copy this then. Here, like this. And this goes to. This one, this one, this one, and this one. Thank you, Robert. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put in and lit like this so I can see it better. No shadows. Okay, so I should that like this I cannot see the oh, I'm gonna put this. Let me see. This is one there, so I'm gonna grab this one first. Here in the middle. And uh, like this I cannot see the lines. Those lines? 
So I'm gonna leave it like this. Bit. Okay. And this goes one, two, three. Then it turns in. this direction. Oh, yes, and this here. Okay, so this section has. I don't know if you hear Robert. Let me drink some water. Hey, Supercracker. Thank you so much for coming to the stream. Cheers, my friend. So, here, can you see that if the player get lost and take this route, he have to walk a lot without any reason you know so in this point here where can i give him where can i put something as a reward i don't know what yet but every time that you make the player walk a long distance in your map uh, to keep him motivated to keep playing your game you need to put a reward in those sections if not the player start uh, wandering ar uh, wandering around and he's gonna say, there is no purpose to come here, there is not, you know, and they lose the motivation to continue playing your game. So uh, those are a little bit, some small tricks that for game development. So imagine you come from down here and go all the way here and then go here. Then you go all the way down here and no reason, you know, and it's, it's not easy to keep the player motivated all the time, so there are some tricks that I will be explaining those tricks a little bit uh, by a little bit and especially in my new series of tutorials. Thank you so much, uh, Robert, for your support. <laughs> Thank you so much for your support. I'm glad that you like it, the introduction. Okay. So this one here. Have like this, a wall here. Let's see, this is a okay. camera. Okay, like I don't know why it's like. Oh, because I need. I will need to put some pillar or something there. Okay. So this. This one, put it here, and we need to make three of those. We're a little bit off, but it's okay. Now there are two in this direction. Can I grab this one and this one? And put them. No. Not you, baby. Not you. Not you. And not you.
this song. Let me check. This song is Devotion by Tristan. Devotion by Tristan. It's from the Monster Cat 026 Resistance album. It looks like. You can find it in Monster Cat. Monster Cat is also on YouTube. And it's really good, it's really good. I, I listen a lot. And when I figure out that they pay in some money every month, you can play their songs in your YouTube channel. I say, okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay. So this one. Here. And what else? So this section, oh yeah, it goes one down, okay, let's copy these three. Hi, uh, nice song. Um, hey, the level looks great so far. Keep it up. Hey, thank you so much. Uh, that's the gaming. Thank you so much for your support, man. Dash the game. Uh, Dash the gaming. He's a a really good horror lover gaming. And I start also like the Okay. So this is this section and now there are two. Two more then. Oh shoot, look at that. So that means that this also? Yeah. Because later we need to put the pillars. Okay, this one and this one. Not you. <laughs> Let's see. Perfect. Then now. Let me see. Four. So this one here. one needs three. It touched this wall here. Okay. One. Should it go inside? Let me see. Yeah. I don't want that. So let's move it. But I don't want that neither. So let me see. One inside. How is okay. this one like this? And this one like this. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Good job. Good job. We're almost down. Let me see. Here goes one more. This map is really, really well designed. Huh? To don't get the players too frustrated. Uh, what do you use to record to record my gameplays? It depends. If I'm using camera, I use XSplit. Uh, if I'm using if I'm using uh, 
doing the gameplay, I use a Shadow Play by Nvidia. And that's the game and say, you're welcome, love supporting you, dude. Uh, to your hard work and friendly nature, also because of uh, the epic horror gaming stuff. <laughs> also, he's saying uh, shadows looks good. Uh, your PC must be strong. My laptop can even render a long video without overheating. Well, this is, you know, uh, Unreal Engine have the capability to put lower uh, resolution. You don't need any of that. And obviously it's projecting the shadows because it's, uh, Unreal Engine is uh, also for... Oh my gosh... It's used uh, for real-time rendering, like re in real-time, so... And it's really, really good. I love Unreal Engine, I love... And I, and I love that it's free. And I love... <laughs> And even I love more than they have a lot. Epic Games is putting a lot of things for free. For that, I that makes me encourage me to do those tutorials that I'm planning. Well, that I'm doing because I I want that everyone knows that they if you love video games, if you love video games, you can make your own video games right now. So easy. You don't need to code. You don't need uh, to spend a penny. He said, Sir, I wish that I had those things when I was younger and I can learn more. Now, whoever wants to make a video game, you can make it. You can make it. Oh, nice. You got the license with uh, Monster Cat? Yes, that's true. Uh, Dash D gaming, that's really true. Better late than never. I'm in love with video games since since I know them. <laughs> I think that they are great. Okay. So this one. This one and this one. Oh no, it's just two. Well, I'm gonna move all of them. And I'm gonna deal with this one. Okay, perfect. Yes, gaming is an art and science. All both combined. But it's amazing what video games are doing nowadays. It's amazing. It's uh, like many people are getting are being friends because of gaming. Also in video game development. Okay let's see. Thinking I'm gonna make this wall a little bit smaller. No that's that's not right, but I don't think so anyone is gonna notice. Don't say it to anyone, guys. <laughs> okay. Oh, what is this here? This section is too big. Okay, let me see to it myself. Okay, this is going down here. Oh, this goes close here, okay. This close here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So now we're gonna delete everything that we don't want. This, 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 this. Oh shit, wait, 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 wait. No, because I know not these ones. Not these ones. No, okay. But I'll, no. Mm, let me see this one. Is this four games? And what about this? Let me see here. Mm, 
No, I'm gonna leave that. Let me double check this section. Okay, hey. What's that? Oh, nothing. Okay, so let's try the level, no? Alt P to start playing the game. So we come out from here. And then... We come from here. I know it's pretty wide to be to be a maze. Can you see? I should look at that this wall. We need to fix it. Huh? Then you come here and you it's gonna be everything really really dark. So you come here. And you see even for me that I know how is the map it's a little bit confusing. It's really, really well designed. Okay, it looks like everything is looking great. And this part we're gonna put some pillars or something. And also we're gonna change some of the walls. What the hell, I'm lost already. <laughs> it's huge, this, huh? It's huge. So in case that, wait, I think it was here, no? Yeah. Is that the gamer, the player, goes down here and it's nothing, so we will we, we put here some reward or something. Because that's a really long walk without purpose. <laughs> Just the purpose to get lost. And maybe I'm thinking, I don't know, but to put the enemy here, chasing you, or at least to show up for the very first time in the game, I think will be good, huh? because this maze, you can run away pretty easy. We can put some stuff here in the middle, you know, if to go around. Here is the exit. And here we will... I don't know yet what we're gonna do there. But the next section I want it to be more narrow. More narrow. More narrow section. And I don't know... Come out with some ideas guys. Come out with some ideas. Let's see... What we can continue doing there. But that so far is looking great. The maze is down. The maze is down. It's huge. It's huge. It's huge. Okay. Let me see to put something to cover those edges. What about this? Let me see. One portal that takes us outside, Robert? Huh? To the forest or something? A change of level? That, that, I think that will be a good idea, yeah? Yeah, I think that could be a good idea. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think it's a good idea, Robert. Can take us like a, some kind of forest, but we will need to limit the the space for the player where he can or she can go. But yes, we will do that. Eh? We will do, uh, we will do that. Look at that, Robert. 
He has a game developer mind, this guy. Yes. Okay, let me see how the pillars looks like. That's a really good idea, yes. And we can go outside. Actually, this is too small. Let me see. I look so ugly, but I want to try. <laughs> Do you have a higher pillar? Let me see. Because that looks a little bit weird. Let me see an architecture in dungeon. What about this one? Oh, so you know how to code in C sharp then, Robert? Oh, look at that, this is the perfect one. This is what I was looking for. This is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Put this like this. We can operate in the same high. Like this, huh? Oh yeah, baby. And let me see, let me make another copy here. Go to the hundred eighty degrees. More or less like this. Wow, man. Yes, yes, yes. All wow. that's going to look great. Time consuming, yes. It's really time consuming and also coding is not easy, yeah? It's not easy. I I learned how to code in Python. Well the web uh, for web development and C. But honestly, if I can skip it, I will do it. <laughs> <laughs> For that I really like uh, Unreal Engine because you can do, like you can code with blueprints, like a visual, and it's really good. Okay, this is great, I think that I'm gonna do this, huh? I'm gonna do this. Let's go. And this time, yes, I'm gonna put it in and lit. Oh no, look at that. Both of them here, like this. Yeah, but the good thing also from Unreal Engine is that uh, Epic Games have a lot of tutorials. A lot of tutorials of blueprints of, and also not just in the their website but also in the like in youtube or anywhere like almost anywhere you can find tutorials about unreal engine so this is i'm gonna put it like this let me see i'm gonna put this the rotation in five because I want this in 5 45 degrees sorry. and I'm gonna make a copy ninety.
90 and 90 so I have for all the corners this one will be here and also here like this yeah let me see this one yeah that one is okay and this one I don't know, no, not there. But this one, yeah. this one here, yes. It's all bang, bang, bloody bang. The you say, Robert, that blueprints are limited. For my understanding, I don't know, I'm not sure, but for my understanding, you can do the same or almost, well, yes, I think it's limited, yes, but you can do, uh, like, at least that you want to do something at, like online gaming or multiplayer or something like that, it's really, really complex, I think that with blueprints, you can do it, and even, um, blueprint, like, Doing multiplier with blueprints, you can do it. You can do it. Let's see this. Mm. Let me see, let me see Okay, yes. I think it will be this one here. Like this. Because I was thinking to put this one also rotated, but I don't know how it's gonna look. This is straight looking there. Yeah, I'm kind of like this, it's okay. I, I don't know who is John Galt. Robert, I don't know who is John Galt. But, but he teaches uh, Unreal Engine also? Okay. He does multiplayer. That's really cool. The, when I need to learn something about Unreal Engine, I usually go to Unreal Engine Academy or... Oh shit. We look in the forums, Unreal Engine forums. The only YouTuber that I watch some videos at the beginning was... Uh, what's his name? Virtus Learning, Virtus Learning. That's the, I think I watch more tutorials from that guy than from anyone else in YouTube. The rest I think, uh, I did a, uh, I learned Unreal Engine mainly doing one course in Udemy, Udemy. Udemy. No, I think I'm gonna put all of them straight. This one. And this one I'm gonna, gonna move this first. And I'm gonna put all of them straight, like this. It's weird, I cannot see uh, Eduardo today. Or the other one. Uh, yeah, the other one, the one. <laughs> yes, the one. I don't know, maybe I missed their message, but... Oh, he puts uh, free templates of what he's doing? Wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's really good. 
It's like all the hard work that many of that people are doing, and they are putting everything for free. It's unbelievable. Look, I'm gonna, oh, this one. I'm gonna put it here in this corner. It's unbelievable. This song, this song is what gives me the inspiration. Oh no, this one. This song is the, what gives me the inspiration for my video introduction for the Unreal Engine. Horror Engine for Dummies. I just saw the message from Dutch D Gaming, and it's true. This music, for me, music is energy, pure energy injected in my veins. I promise you, I love it. And it's not just energy, it's inspiration, pure inspiration, man. Let me see this, how it looks like. Your inspiration. Uh, Robert is saying maybe add a statue on the side walls. Yes, I'm. I'm planning this. These meshes. I'm planning to change some of these meshes for these ones and add some statue or something there yeah okay let's do first all the corners and then this one goes here let's check just a little bit that doesn't need to be perfect huh? the games are not perfect 
So now we need the... Uh, should I delete it? Looks like I delete the one that... Okay, I can grab this one. And rotate 45 degrees. Put it there. <laughs> okay. So we have all this no this sec this section. It's this one here. Can I put anything there? Because if not, this or maybe yes. Let's try. If I put it here, one like this, and then another one here. The clips? No. It looks perfect. Perfect. Mm. Looks like a demon thing. Let me check. Architecture. Even the crypt. Mouse no. Meshes. Oh. In props. For sure is here. This one? This one is the one that you are talking about, Robert? Oh, this one, look at that. Look at that. The other one that is in the top of the pillar also looks really cool. Look at that. Huh? And I can't believe this is for free for free for freaking free and look at the quality it's not like the latest games but man to make your own game and also this one look at that what it says here no no one understand that look at this yes oh now that i'm thinking uh uh Robert and Dutch D Gaming. How we need to put in some areas like a hint of where the player is it is to then get too lost. So we will put those statues, you know, as a guidance. Has a guidance. Let me see. Let me play this. I like, I like this song also. I, this, yesterday the night I hear it for the first time and it's really good. Okay. But we will put that as a hint so the player don't get too lost. When they see that statue in one place or something else, they know that they are in one place of the map. To orientate the the player. Look at that! Look at this! Eh? Look at this! You know, I have to be a. Uh, I used to be a DJ, and when I hear those freaking songs, it comes to my my like. I remember those times in the disco day, like. This also, man. Wow. 
Oh, what a time. Let's continue. I get emotional. <laughs> oh my goodness. Probably you don't hear what I say, but I used to be a DJ. And I play that music a lot, a lot. And when I hear a song that ticks my past, it it makes me feel in my chest like I'm missing those times. <clears throat> yeah, I know, I know it was too high, put it there. Sorry about that, guys. Now it's okay, right? Okay. What is this doing? Okay, that one is. Gonna take this one and put it here. But first, can I grab this one? Put it here. And what is the one? Okay, let me see. But I don't know, I don't have any. Oh, yes, here. No, what the hell? I made the copies for all of them, for all the corners. But anyway. Sorry about that, guys. The music too. Loud. <laughs> that song is for free. Eh? If you wanna use it in, if you wanna use it in your YouTube channel, you can use it. It's from non-copyright songs, which is a uh, YouTube channel that posts uh, songs that you can use in your, your in your YouTube channel for free and without being afraid that YouTube is gonna copy strike. <laughs> okay. So let's find some other things. Um, cur. Let's see, cur. Let's see what is this. Did I play Dia? No, I didn't play Dia. I saw uh, a spicy gamer girl playing that game. No, that's. But uh, no, I don't. I didn't play it myself. Yeah, boots on my bravado, nothing looking better than a hands around a bottle. I need to test and prove, I know. Love to stretch the truth, I know. The devil dressed like you, I know. That's a blessing too, we go down a rabbit hole. As you can see, like, uh, Monster Cat have a lot of kind of music. Because no good habit is for breaking. So let that let go, poor. Look at these thousand cats. This one is really good. Okay. Let's take this one. In the game, dear. Yeah, I will try. I will take a look. Let me see. 
I will take a look. Probably it's in each year, right? Probably it's in each year. So I will take a look. Probably is I, I don't remember how long it was, but if it's not too long, probably I'm gonna include it in one of those three scary games. One video that includes three scary games. Mm. Yes, Timur is a fun game. Huh? Timur is, is a fun game. Okay, and this one right here. Number Perfect. Perfect, guys. This is looking great. This is looking great. Okay, now this one. Here. This this song. I don't know, guys, if you saw Samurai Shampoo. It's an anime. An anime. But it's really cool, it's really cool. It's pretty old, but it's really cool. And it, re uh, it comes to my mind like both samurais like fighting there, like a frost, 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 frost. <laughs> okay. So this one goes here. And this one goes here. I don't know what. Okay, that one is there. Oh, look at that, this one. What, is, what are you doing here, alone? It's like I forgot before. Maybe I get distracted with the sun. <laughs> sometimes, yes, sometimes I still watch anime. Wait, do you have uh, some recommendation for me, Robert? <laughs> I should look at that. Let me see here this. Oh, that's okay. okay. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, Samurai Jack. Yes, I watch all the Samurai Jack. All of them. And sometimes early morning when I awake, uh, Usually I wake at 4 morning or 4.20 and when I'm, I'm having my breakfast at that time I put the adult swing and they have some episodes of Samurai Jack still. But yes, I watch, I love it. I think it's so simplistic and barely they barely talk, you know. And it's really well done that you can understand all the story and all the plot. Just watching what's going on, you know. You don't need to talk too much or have a long conversations. And I think the... What's his name, man? Mm. The enemy. That evil with the eyebrows like this. That fire, have fire like this. That's really cool. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah, Tokyo Gold, yes. Yeah, it's it's cool, yeah. The first anime that I watched in my life was Dragon Ball and What's the name? Oh yes, Doctor Sloom. Doctor Sloom. Mm. 
Doctor Slow. It's like with Arare Norimaki. That girl that is a robot. Oh my gosh, that was so fun. Especially when you're a uh, kid, you know, child. All the imagination. Let me put some background music. Gonna play the playlist again, right? Need to find more music, especially if I'm planning to continue more with more streams. Okay, where is the one over there? I, can't, I don't have it. Okay, looks like not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shoot them, that's not correct. No. Pam, 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 pam. That's two arms. Okay. Like this. So now I have this. I'm gonna make a copy. Put them here. That's okay, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna make another copy here. But this one I'm gonna move it. A little bit more. Like this. Perfect, and this one here. Can I move this also back so it matches the best that I can? <laughs> okay. Hello, the CG. How are you doing, man? Thank you so much for coming to the stream, I really appreciate it. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> really cool. Okay, and this one's gonna go here. Let me see. That one there. I think like this. Yeah, I think that's okay. Don't pause. Press play. And this one. Don't pause. We're going to need this. Yeah. So we have all this section covered, right? No, this one there. And this song is from Tokyo Machine, which he mixes all the like. Like not pixelated, but those uh, noises from the video games from the 80s, and they put uh, he put them on the on the song. It looks pretty cool. No, this is okay. So we have all this section. Now we need to put here. In this corner, and so we need like this one. This one here, and this. I think 
gonna be completely fine. And for that corner we need one of these. I will need to put another one on the other side. Huh? It shows from here? No. Oh yes. Hmm. And why is that? Don't pause. Press play. Hmm. Don't pause. Press play. Okay, then we put some arcos on there. Press play. Don't pause. Don't pause. Don't pause, press play, 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 press So you go here. You go here. And I put them more or less. And then this one and this one. Oh no. <laughs> Do I have a cotton right now? It's okay, I'm gonna put them there, all right. And put this one here, and this one here. Oh. Like this, perfect. And this one. Yes, yes, I'm thinking that yes, it's already two hours and streaming, so I'm thinking I'm gonna leave it here, we can continue next time, probably next Saturday, and I don't know, in two or three hours, I will be streaming Home Sweet Home Part 2, or Episode 2, but I, I really wanna play it, I played the first minutes, but I didn't play it all. So, and I'm really intrigued. And do you remember the last, uh, the first part when we play? Uh, when we play the first part in the live stream, it was really, really fun, huh? especially with that freaking witch. Oh my goodness, following us with a freaking to the like. <laughs> it's a really good game, it's a really good game. Okay guys, so I think I think that that's gonna be all for about video game development for today and as I say, let's recap this we did the first section in the first part so you go down here in the, ma in the map and here we did this maze that if you want to look for it on the internet and we start here and we go so we did that putting all the all the meshes there and now we're working uh, we're working in put like cover all the empty spots and make it nicer and I close it and when we're done with that we're gonna put the ceiling and make it darker and also we're gonna put the ceiling here the doors and make the laboratory here put that stuff in you know and when we are done with that we will start thanks to robert thank you so much for the recommendation we're gonna put here at the end one portal that is gonna take us uh, to another level that will be an outside probably it's gonna be a forest but i will need we will need to check and what kind of forest because we need to limit the space that where the player can go we cannot 
throw him out there and he is gonna get lost. And we will need to find some missions or something, so probably another thing that I will be doing this week is I'm gonna be playing some games that have forest outside. I think the Home Sweet Home have a section, a huge section that is outside. So later when I'm playing that game, I'm gonna more or less take a look. Maybe we can have some clues that what we can do in the next level. Okay. Uh, Peter Hartke, when you made the hole for for the wall using the doors, could you have used a box brush to cut the hole? No. I'm gonna show you now, uh, Peter. What I did, I don't use any. I have to modify this. But this, I put two meshes. These meshes is the frame of the of the wall. I of the door. <laughs> I don't know if it's from the grid. I think it's, I think it's this one. Grid doorway. I use this. I use this. And I put one in that direction and another one in this direction. And it, for that it's making the shape, but look, I'm thinking I'm gonna do it now. Let me. I'm thinking to make it more slim. Should not. I, I, need, I wanna grab both. I wanna grab this one, this one, and this one. And then do something like this. And let's see how it looks like. I think I will need to. I saw there a little bit opening. But maybe I will put something there. I don't know, let's see. It's a little bit, not much. I don't think so the player is gonna see anything in the darkness. Huh? So let's recap. Let's see how it works. Let's put the player here. So I'm gonna show you Peter. Oh man, oh shit, 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 sorry, sorry guys, sorry, 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 yes. Yeah. <laughs> sorry about that, guys. So, I, what I did, I'm gonna show you again, guys. I put two meshes, this one and this one. And these two meshes, I'm, I, I really apologize for that, guys. Okay, let's get out from here. I use this door that have like arc. And I put it like it's the floor, and then I make two. I put two of them. And I make this hole that looks like an eye, you know, that you need to go inside. Then what I did now is put a little bit more flat. But I'm thinking this one. Let me see. A little higher. No. Let me remove this. Okay, perfect. You need to use your imagination, you know? You, you cannot rely on anything else. If you don't have the meshes. So, and now. Robert, uh, Peter, I'm gonna show you what we did. So we're gonna start there. And Robert mentioned that we can do. That's where the player is gonna start. In this, uh, in this cell. So you you try to go outside, but the door is blocked. So you need to do unlock the door. 
And there is a note here that now is in the floor, but we will put it later on the on a table. So you find the note. And then the note says, I stayed here for weeks and at the end of my days I discovered that the light without flame opens the gate of freedom. So that's gonna be like a clue that the only light without flame is this one here. So this one is a trigger that will unlock the door. So you come out outside. And you will see the well here, but you cannot go inside, it doesn't allow you to go. Wait, 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 wait. let me try. No, okay, okay, <laughs> I want to make sure. So later I put this uh, valve here, because we will need to turn off this fire. I, I put here like a damage that you cannot go through the fire without dying. So you will need to find in one of those cells, we will put this valve, put it there and then turn it on and we'll extinguish the fire and the, also the damage area. So you will go here and in this section, we will make a laboratory in this section and this section will be like some storage area or something, I don't know. And from here, there is the torch with some oil for the torch the oil for the torch and also these things we will put it in the top of a table so the player can see it well the footsteps are added already uh, let me show you oh shoot if I escape well I'm gonna escape so you can hear I'm gonna stop the music but the footsteps in Unreal Engine and I'm gonna show you how to change the footsteps. Let's do it again. Can you hear it, guys? All the noises in Horror Engine and are, are already Close hair needs to be changed too. Yeah. Yes. Then you go here. And I will teach you how to put the footsteps. Because you know that Horror Engine have a different footstep for grass, for uh, tile, for uh, metal, for carpet I don't know how many I think seven different and I will I will teach you how to put it so every when for example now that we're inside it's gonna sound like a rock later when we move to the next level it's gonna sound like a mug or like a grass and it's really easy to do it's really easy to do so here Peter you will uh, move this plan. and then that we're gonna put that when you move that, you're gonna listen like a water draining to give a clue to the player that the water from the well have been removed. So you can go through there now. So now the water is not here and we can go down and here, turn around and you're in the maze that we did today. I'm here in the maze. I'm planning to give the first introduction for the enemy because it's pretty big. As you can see, it's, it's pretty big. And I think that this will be a really good place to uh, introduce the enemy for first time. Just introduce it without, you know, like Amnesia, the Dark Descent, when you see the enemy for first time that he is walking or something, you know? I think that will be really really cool and that's it what we did so far that's it what we did so far and we did the maze that 
where you can find the maze in the in the internet in Google. Let me show you. Mm, images game dev this maze. This maze. Okay, guys, so thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming. Um, I really appreciate your support doing this. And I'm really glad that you also enjoy uh, game development because I think it's, it's really cool. And if you enjoy video games, it's really cool to know how to make the, your own video games, you know, and especially now with all the tools that we have, that they are free, they're really easy to use and really simple you know and you can make games really quick so thank you so much for watching in two or three hours more or less i will post that on twitter and later i'm gonna post also when i'm live because i, f I think i forgot to, <laughs> to say that i was live with uh, this stream but i will let you know guys and i will be playing sweet uh, home sweet home part two or episode two okay See you and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already because it really helps. Thank you so much and bye bye.